MU canceled all spring and summer study abroad trips in Italy. Students in Italy who are there now were given the option to stay in the country or head home. I spoke to one student today who has been scrambling to get back here. A lot has changed since Alexa Leininger and other students arrived in Italy. She says it was busy and like any regular vacation. But now it's very, very silent in the streets, people wearing masks. But now she's headed back home. The decision comes after the CDC upgraded Italy to a level three travel alert, which cautions against non-essential travel. Right now in Italy, there are more than 2,000 confirmed cases and more than 50 deaths. Leininger says both MU and airlines have been very helpful adjusting plans. I think all of the airlines are really supportive of students studying abroad. They understand how we have to go through all that stuff. But she says she's not too worried about getting the virus. I don't think it's that big of a deal because, as I said, like, I'm pretty healthy and I'm young. So Her biggest concern, travel restrictions. Well, I don't want the states to be like, okay, well, we're canceling all the flights back and then I'm actually stuck here. And An infectious disease expert from MU Health says airports will screen for the virus, but people should take extra steps when they get home. If they start having symptoms, fever, cough, and they've been to an area that, that has a high number of cases, to call student health or the regular doctor. Leininger says she hopes she doesn't get quarantined or stuck abroad. It's, if it happens, it happens. I'll just hope for the best. MU says it's working with students one-on-one -on -one to determine whether they should stay or come home. In the studio, Michael Van Skoik, KOMU 8 News.